Today is the day that the original Resident Evil game launched in Japan, and so it's a big day for fans of Capcom's survival horror franchise. For us, Resident Evil fans, the popular survival horror franchise has turned 25 years old. Whether players have played the older games, Resident Evil 7, or the Resident Evil 2 remake, this is a major landmark for the franchise and for us. To mark the occasion, Capcom made several announcements about the upcoming Resident Evil games. To celebrate, Capcom has made a number of Resident Evil-related announcements, but it seems fans can expect an even bigger news dump next month as Capcom has confirmed that the next Resident Evil showcase event will take place at some point in April. It seems highly likely that the event will feature Resident Evil Village, as the next main series entry in the long-running survival horror franchise is set to drop one month later in May. More specifically, one would think details on the second Resident Evil Village demo will be revealed at the showcase. Capcom shared the release date for certain events like the next Resident Evil Showcase, as well as the Resident Evil RE Verse Open Beta. On top of that, the company announced that both Resident Evil Village and Resident Evil 7 Biohazard Gold Edition will be coming to Google Stadia this year. According to the post, Resident Evil Village will also be launching on Google Stadia on May 7, 2021. It will be available on Stadia along with all the other platforms it's releasing on, so Stadia owners can enjoy the game along with everyone else the day it releases in May. Pre-orders for the game on Stadia are available now. Capcom also revealed that Resident Evil 7 Biohazard Gold Edition will also be available for purchase on the Google Stadia. Resident Evil 7 will be released to Stadia as both a standalone purchase and will be available for free with the Stadia Pro on April 1st. Stadia owners who want to experience the beginning of Ethan Winter's story can enjoy it before Resident Evil Village launches. As mentioned before, the post also shared news about the other upcoming Resident Evil projects for this year. Capcom revealed that there will be a Resident Evil showcase in April, but it doesn't provide details on the exact date. The post also avoided sharing any details on what the showcase will be featuring. However, it encouraged readers to check out the previous Resident Evil January showcase and to keep an eye on its social media on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for more news. The post also shared that the Resident Evil RE Verse will be receiving an open beta this year. The latest installment in the Resident Evil franchise, Resident Evil Village, will have a multiplayer mode known as Resident Evil RE Verse, and its open beta dates have been officially released. The beta window will be open for players on April 7 this year on PlayStation 4, PlayStation 4 Pro, Xbox One, Xbox One X and PC through Steam. Resident Evil Village was announced back in June 2020, and will be the 10th main series game in the survival horror franchise set to be released on May 7, 2021. A sequel to Resident Evil 7 Biohazard, the game offers a new online multiplayer mode, under the title Resident Evil RE Verse, that has yet to be shown in great detail, but should allow for up to six players in a lobby. The beta event will be one of the first opportunities for players to get to know the multiplayer mode of Resident Evil Village. Players should be able to embody notable characters from throughout the series and employ bioweapons in this aspect of the game, and those with the latest generation of consoles will be able to play the previous generation's version on their console. It will run from 11 p.m. Pacific time on April 7th until the same time on April 10th, and the preload window opens on April 5th. Resident Evil RE Verse will be the franchise's latest foray into multiplayer, the last being Resident Evil 3 and its resistance multiplayer mode where one mastermind player worked against four survivors. This multiplayer received relatively mixed reviews from critics and players alike for technical and connection issues. It remains unclear what exactly is meant by survival horror revenge matches detailed on the beta test announcement page, but players should be cautious about their expectations. The Resident Evil franchise has a lot of strengths, but multiplayer largely remains a weakness for these developers, and they could produce a relatively lackluster piece to an overall good game. Ideally it works out that Resident Evil Village and its multiplayer mode both hit the mark, but this beta test will be the first indicator as to the game's success. However, the Resident Evil 3 and its multiplayer should encourage Resident Evil Village players. Though it was far from an outstanding success, it showed that Capcom could deliver a viable option with an Resident Evil flair.
Time will tell, but if the beta test coming in April improves on the resistance multiplayer mode then players should be pleased. Capcom assures players that this is only the beginning of the Resident Evil milestone celebration, and we can look forward to more news about their favorite survival horror franchise in the upcoming days. Capcom will likely focus on its previously announced Resident Evil games, but there is a long-shot possibility that it will reveal new games as well. While fans shouldn't expect to learn anything about the rumored Resident Evil 4 remake, there's a chance Capcom could show the previously leaked Resident Evil Outrage game. Supposedly in development as a Nintendo Switch exclusive, reliable leakers have suggested that the game may wind up being titled Resident Evil, Revelations 3 and launch later in 2021. Besides video games, Capcom may touch on Resident Evil film and television projects as well. The last Resident Evil showcase spent some time on the Resident Evil Infinite Darkness CG movie that's coming to Netflix, but maybe fans will get their first good look at the Resident Evil live-action movie reboot this time. Fans of Resident Evil have certainly been having good fortunes lately. Between the critically acclaimed reboots of Resident Evil 2 and 3, and the upcoming Resident Evil Village, the franchise's future seems bright. However, video games haven't been the only medium of choice for the zombie horror IP, as the franchise has a long and interesting history of spin-off films that look set to continue, but with a film that isn't quite a continuation. Many are likely familiar with the Resident Evil films led by Mila Jovovich and directed by Paul W.S. Anderson. The various films ran for quite some time and gained a dedicated audience despite having very little to do with the original series of games. It had seemed, however, that Resident Evil The Final Chapter did exactly what it was named for and closed the book on that particular storyline, leaving no guarantees of the film series ever returning to theaters. So, of course, there was some rejoicing when the reveal came that a new Resident Evil film was in the works. This time, however, the project would be a reboot that follows much more closely with the traditional storyline of the video games. It seems they weren't kidding either, as the new film purports to be a retelling of the original zombie outbreak, and will include long-standing characters like Jill Valentine, Leon S. Kennedy, and Albert Wesker. Not only that, but the film has finally gotten an official title, Resident Evil Welcome to Raccoon City, director Johannes Roberts confirmed the title during an interview with IGN at an online event. Anyone with even a passing familiarity with the franchise will of course know that Raccoon City is the setting of several early games in the franchise, and more or less the epicenter of the zombie outbreak that most of the story is based on. Going even further into speculation territory, the film is being produced by Constantine Film, which is also working on a live-action Resident Evil series for Netflix, suggesting that there is the potential for crossover. Given the radical success and even more radical profits to be had with the cinematic universe model, it's not crazy to suggest that Capcom and friends might be interested in establishing some continuity ties in their various upcoming projects. Still, all of that remains to be seen. The first priority is, and always must be, making a quality film that audiences enjoy, and hopefully, all is going well in that department. Fans will no doubt be eager to see more once the project can start putting out some advertisements, teasers, and trailers, as Resident Evil Welcome to Raccoon City is scheduled to be released in theaters on September 3, 2021. It is very good to see that the franchise continues to be on track and evolve as reports suggest Resident Evil 9 is already in development, and guys, it is one of my favorites of all time, and there is no better time to be Resident Evil Summoner. And that's all for the video guys, if you like the video give it a thumbs up and share the video. Subscribe if you are new and click the bell icon. Comment your thoughts on the announcements and what are you expecting from the April showcase. If you have missed the previous showcase, don't worry I have given the link to the Resident Evil January showcase and the first maiden demo for Resident Evil Village in the description. Don't forget to check it out and until then from SMPV, it's goodbye.